We got a peppermint patty stout. We've got a winter double bock. We've got an apple pie blonde IPA, a blonde ale. And then we've got a tall boy jolly and joyful India pale ale. Hey everybody, Dave Neal here. Welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. We made it to 18, we're legal, baby. You're gonna love this episode. My buddy Channing Apodaca joins me on the roof. He's a very funny stand-up comedian. He studied improv at Upright Citizens Brigade and sketch comedy at The Groundlings. And of course, he's my co-host on our show, Hollywood Posers. You can find that other YouTube channel where we do play-by-play -play commentary of Instagram photography. Channing joins me to taste test some holiday-inspired beers. And then Tasha joins us to taste test her hard cider and of course Boone joins us to try to eat all of our Oreos. You're gonna love this episode. Have fun. This is your tasting glass. Yeah. What is it? It's you can eat it. It's actually just um like wheat. I'll, I'll, I'll take a piece. I had a piece yesterday. Not bad. Boone's had part 15 of those so far. Nice. You need a winter? Oh, winter. <laughs> Are you from Boston? <laughs> Dude, it's a winter ale. The Winter Brewing Company bot. It is a, it's a pastry stout made with natural flavors, which f I'll was. tell you, yeah. Stout is not my first uh, five choices of beer, but I think I'm gonna like this. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Stouts, to me, that's like, that's the worst. I think Boone got some slob on this. Um, stouts. This is gonna, I'm gonna struggle with this one, I think. Oh, fuck, kid. Cheers. Cheers. He's a little head on it. It smells festive. I don't know. <laughs> I surprisingly like that. Yeah? Okay, here we yeah. go. Yeah, and I don't, I don't do stout. Oh yeah, that's, that's peppermint all, all the yeah, way. And mocha. It's really smooth. Isn't that the problem with stout though, is it looks, it always looks thicker than it is. This is the type of drink you have at the Christmas party and get called into HR the next morning. This is what I love about Trader Joe's. I bought this six pack, but as individuals. I wanna know what brewery, Utah, Salt Lake City. Oh, that's close enough. But it's funny that they would do the, the New England accent because I got that pretty quick. Do you think that's what it is? Yeah. Where does it say it? Where are you reading this from? This right here. Winita. Winter. Oh, I didn't know that that's what you were See, reading. that's what I was saying. I got it pretty are quick. Are you sure? I Yeah, I think Winta so. Winta Brewing Company? Oh, I almost want to Google that. Boston accent. It says that they're brewed with renewable power, wind and solar. Winta. And it's got winter flavors. All right. Jesus Christ. You guys really are stocked up for the winter. Yeah, it looks like a, looks like I bought chapstick at a CVS. Ah. You think you could drink a bunch of these or just one? I'll tell you what, I'm feeling pretty good after half of one. That's 8.5%. I don't think we're gonna be able to decipher this. What does winter mean? That's the pronunciation that we're giving it. Winter is derived from the word ute or ute. So it's yinta. From the ute word Uvuita, which means pine tree or pine forest. Bro, bro, bro. What? I'm calling them up. I got their phone number. All right, we're gonna call up and just ask okay. how to pronounce Hello, it. Hello, and thank you for calling. You went to Brewing Company. You went to. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> There's nothing more unlikable than a Boston accent. And you have to admit, though, that the theory, just knowing like phonetically how the English language works, that the theory of it being winter, <laughs> with the spelling that they made it, and that it's winter themed, and like how hipstery that all these brewing companies are getting with their names, with their naming. I have to say, their website looks really cool. They have a they have a beer that's got an airstream on the packaging, and that's cool for me. Look at that, the Detour Double IPA. It's just got an airstream on the back. It's pretty cool. Double, Mike, IPA, double IPAs, man. That'll. No, I don't do that. Those are f the idea that like you have to be manly to drink an IPA. It's like, bro, that's just made with like dandelions and stuff. You know what I mean? If we were like famous, or like if we had a big following, Uinta would now be sponsoring our comedy tour. No one's talking about Uinta Peppermint Patty Limited Release Stout. Well, if anybody hasn't patented the Uinta Brewing Company, 
out of Boston yet. Once you get used to the bite, you can't really go back because you get used to that, that I don't bitterness like it. and the the high alcohol content of like the rush of the instant buzz of an IPA or a double IPA. I'll drink lagers if I'm outside. I'll sweat out a lager or a pilsner in in five minutes, and then I'm just bloated and full of. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> I like a lager. My favorite beer is a Mexican lager. You give me a Tecate, a Dos Equis. Dos Equis, I think, is done. The, of the Mexican beers, Dos Equis and Pacifica do rank supreme. Candy Cane Jojos. These are Yawinta. Uh, Yawinta <laughs> Oreos. Yawinta. Hold on. Here, help yourself to a taste test. <laughs> you don't want one? You don't need to have one. I'll smell them. When it comes to Christmas, Branded snacks, they ruin a lot of good things by having to add peppermint and like what other pine. And they do the same thing around around Halloween by adding pumpkin spice to good things. The Oreo or the knockoff Oreo was a fine cookie to begin with. I would disagree that the Oreo has nothing to offer. What? As far as a cookie goes. I wouldn't even call it a cookie. Oh jeez, dropped it. Oh no! <laughs> no. What do you call that? <laughs> I've got this... <laughs> I've got this weird principle in life where I don't I don't let the world dictate if I'm gonna eat this Oreo or not. Like, wh would you eat this? Yeah. We we're on a dry roof. If, if dry things hit my food, I blow it off. Yeah. If, the, if this went if into it a... was wet? Yeah, if this if went into a puddle, <sighs> no way. You look for hair, nothing. I don't believe in the five second rule. I believe in the eye test. Yeah. And my gut. My gut tells me you got COVID. <laughs> I almost prefer this cookie to sit longer than five seconds. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're like, gonna get the flavor, get the full flavor. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna eat this stupid thing and my all mouth right. is gonna be all dry. It might cut the rooftop of my mouth. It takes a real comedian to complain about being given a Oreo, a Christmas Oreo. You have to be in the right mood to want. <laughs> Somebody gives me a muffin, you. If you give me a, like a store-bought cookie, not one that's fresh and like creamy and doughy, you jump off a bridge. So you like wet dessert. You're offended by a dry dessert. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it because you gave it to me and that's a nice thing to do. We have a winter bock. Can a winter bock go with a with an Oreo? This is winter ride double bock. 7.5%. Oh, that's a great label. Yeah, that's a very German. Yeah, it has a it, Oh, it, yeah, it's got that German hat. What do you call that, a stutzel? It's called a Yuinta ride. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> what does Bach mean? I think he was a piano player. <laughs> I was gonna make that joke. Yeah, this is a Johann Sebastian uh, double Bach. <laughs> Dark my... roasted caramel. Are you a caramel or caramel? caramel? Are you? Tosh is a caramel. I'm caramel because nah. caramel sounds so pretentious and douchey. Good. Wow. Winter. Dude, winter. Winter, winter warrior winter. over here. 7.5%. Double Bach. Uh, 28 IBU. It says here that Bach is a strong lager of German origin. So it's a German lager. Ooh, that's golden. This looks like the type of pee when you don't have a glass of water for two months. That one that right? wafts when you walk out. <laughs> yeah. You can smell it in the hallway. <laughs> Cheers to the Double Bach. Cheers. It's got a nice red color to it. Oh yeah. So this is your style? Yeah. Not my style, but I l it's okay. Dark roasted caramel Munich malt. International bitterness units. So basically, the higher the IBU, the higher the bitterness. Bud Light has a six IBU. Oh yeah, so 28 is high. So yeah, so if you, we all know what a Bud Light tastes like. That's got a six IBU. Well, this double Bach has a 28. I'm gonna be a snob now whenever I go somewhere. Like, excuse me, uh, your double uh, Bach, what's the IBU? By posting a 28, that's a Christmas flex. Trying to prove that they've got more bitterness to them. What, do you guys set a, set a price limit? No, this year we said no gifts, but I am, I'm, I'm getting it. Oh, that's a trick. Saying no gifts is a trick. I know, that's why I will not be tricked. Yeah. I've been watching way too much Survivor to fall for that bullshit. Yeah, no gifts means have a gift ready, keep a receipt, and see what she gets yeah. you first. We agreed to fill uh, stockings with knickknacks this year, and then we want to go somewhere. We were planning on getting out together for Christmas, but it's probably not going to happen. I, I got Tasha a suitcase a couple years ago for Christmas. A suitcase? Yeah, Samsonite. But she needed a suitcase. There was one Christmas where 
because we used to have my cousins come over. My aunt and uncle and my cousins would come over every single Christmas, and all the kids got bikes that year. And that, like waking up that morning and seeing all of the bikes surrounding the tree. Oh, uh, they were like lined up. They were just. <laughs> kind of just knew based on like our size because we're all different ages and we all just kind of knew whose was whose and then they would lay our stockings next to the bike and then we went on this epic bike ride through the desert me my sisters my cousins my uncle we went on this epic bike ride and all the other kids in the neighborhood i don't know if the parents were all in cahoots but a bunch of other kids in the neighborhood got bikes for christmas too and we went on this epic bike ride through the desert like christmas day looking back on your parents were they like good at christmas yeah, my mom is definitely better now. Christmas is like my mom's thing now. But like all parents, they got more money as time goes on. Yeah. Right? And it's not to say that we were even like, I think we were we were pretty poor, more poor than I knew we were when I was little. And for them to make it work in the way that they did is pretty incredible. And I give them all the credit in the world for that. But I think I was either way, I'm, I'm, I was either as cynical then as I am now or my childhood was just fine enough to forget. <laughs> I didn't store like too many sentimental memories. I bet you if I brought up remote control race cars, you would access a memory. I know that I got one. See, there but you I go. I got that later. What Check kind out. of batteries what, what was it? It was gas powered. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, it was a real RC car. Oh, it wasn't a Tyco you white like trash. <laughs> <laughs> They're so fun. I've, I've honestly, in the pandemic, I've been thinking about getting another one for myself. I actually went to my parents and I dug through their garage looking for my old one just to have something to do. Dude, that, yeah, that would be, let, dude, let's start. I, I would like a redemption on my own childhood. So like, I'll so get a gas powered yeah. race car with you. Instead of a Tyco? Yeah. Think about the fun that you had with the Tyco. Mine was yellow and it had the military uh, bands, those rubber tracks, you know? Uh -huh. Like, the, you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about the two? But it had like, the battery pack was like eight AA batteries that was like built into this like rubber thing. Yeah. And it took three to four hours to charge. It got to about 500 degrees and then you could use it for 15 minutes. Yeah, they would die like that. And, and now you got kids it. going around with the same size battery driving themselves on electric scooters, yeah. not even appreciating what they're doing. We had to charge for hours when we were using those little ones to get minutes of fun. When you're nine years old and you're charging a battery for five hours, that's like 10% of your life is spent looking at a battery, waiting to go from red to green. Yeah. So then you could go use it and it doesn't even make it back. And then you'd have to go knock on the kid's next door's door and be like, hey, it's charged. And then he'd have to ask if he can come out and then he'd go, well, actually we're eating dinner now because it's two hours later. <laughs> so when Tasha wonders why I love flying my drone, I'm like, I get to fly an airplane. I have a flying aircraft with a 2.7K video camera on it. Yeah. It it's combines awesome. all of my activities that I didn't get to do as a child, as a grown man. Being in a relationship, you know, like I, like, I, like I was single when Tinder was out, so I got to use Tinder, I got to experience that, but electric scooters only came out in the last couple of years, so like I never got to experience a joy ride in an electric scooter coming home from a random girl's house. Like, can you imagine how good it would feel to do a walk of shame in just an electric scooter, just zipping around, you can swing by Denny's, eat food uh, by yourself. You'd be doing like, you'd be doing the, the like, the zigzag pattern the whole way through. <laughs> I wanna get like Tasha an Airbnb and then pretend like I don't know her, meet her up at a bar, go home to her place and then take a scooter back to my place. Role just play? Yeah, just my whole, Sexual role play is it's just me it's wanting to ride a based. scooter. <laughs> your whole sexual role play is, is reliving your childhood. Pretty much. All right, we're doing that. All right, the India's Pale Ale. It's Christmas looking label. It's got like uh, Target vibes, like Target brand. This might as well be a Target brand beer. Yeah, but it's clean. I like that it's got like a matte finish. So this is an IPA, which is one of my least favorite beers. My favorite. Pretty little head on there. Cheers. Nice and cold too. I think this one's a 47. Wow. Whereas the last bit of one that we had was what, 27? And what did we say a Bud Light was, six? Six. I'm not a beer snob by any means. Like beer is definitely beer and IPAs are definitely just an IPA. But this one is pure bitterness. Like it doesn't really have any body to it. Listen to me. Oh, I'm not a, I'm not a beer snob. 
doesn't have any body to it. <laughs> like if I want a few beers, I want to go mow the lawn and have a lager. And, and if that means I'm a simple man, then I'm a simple man. Boom. I thought I heard someone Ooh. barking. Chuck, you take that seat. We've just been getting fried in sausage. <laughs> A bottle opener for my cider? Sure do, and we're gonna get that close up shot. Ah! <laughs> wow. The dog's really getting <laughs> There's clove, right? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. got molasses too. It's got like a black licorice flavor, which I think is the molasses. Fermented oh. apple juice, molasses, spices. How do you pronounce this? Really, really dig into your your more eclectic side of the English language. Say it like Unta. Unta. Dog. Oh, medium size. Oh, he looks perfectly suited in your lap. Channing is official. I don't think we've given Channing a title for the dog. You know. For dog watching, he's kind of like a, uh, like, like a, he's like czar of the, the basset. So Channing had informed us of the international, Tasha, are you listening? Yeah. He's informed us of the international bitterness unit of measurement. A Bud Light is a six. I don't think she's listening. I'm listening. So. How much is a Bud Light? She can recall facts, but it doesn't mean she's <laughs> listening. How much is a Bud Light's IBU? 3.6. Christmas card. <laughs> Guys, pants have pockets like that. They could. All right, show us where you got. You got bike shorts with pockets, and then you, and then the shirt's a Beyonce shirt. Is that a Beyonce shirt? Show me the, show me the title. Whirl on the mirrors. Some white shoes. I got shoes. my uh, Dr. Scholl's. Dr. Scholl's <laughs> biker shorts. I'll tell you what, I actually was heartbroken when they discontinued these particular shoes. Cause these shoes are, I mean, they're obviously dirty and gross now, but they look fly when they're shiny and new and white. Do you think anyone in the history has ever worn Dr. Scholl shoes with a Beyonce sweatshirt? <laughs> you might be like the only one who- Beyonce's dad, probably. <laughs> <laughs> But you would think that caramel would be the southern way because that's like the because Louisiana the like, the caramel, word. like oh we're from the south and we're gonna pronounce everything. <laughs> there it is, they're on to us. A apple pie blonde ale, 7.2 alcohol by volume. I thought with an apple pie IPA is that it's not gonna live up to an apple pie. Like you're asking a lot for a beer to taste like apple pie. But, um, you know, maybe. Well, it's one of those things where like everybody tries to flavor another product to taste like something else when it's like, oh, it's an apple pie flavored beer. No matter what, the beer is doing all the heavy lifting. Nice ending, good dismount. Today we've taste tested all the different Trader Joe's beers and ciders. We started with Uinta Peppermint Patty, um, uh, which is a stout. Then we went to the Winter Ride, a double bock. Tasha brought up a toasted cookie spice cider with molasses, and then Channing and myself uh, drank the Jolly and Joyful IPA. And our final beverage is an apple pie Blondale from Brewhouse Rarities. Uh, too rare to die, flying dog. Cheers to you, my man. The dessert of beers, the apple pie. It's like I'm in a gift shop. It's got gift shop smell. Yeah, it it has like that potpourri-esque aftertaste. Mm. Let me smell it. We've got a cassette, and for my young uh, for my young YouTubers out there, this is a form of audio listening before the compact disc. If you wanted to rewind a cassette, you would stick your finger in it and do that. That's how you would rewind it. Or if you weren't creepy, you would just put it back in the tape deck and quest for it. <laughs> Natasha, best Christmas present you've ever received. 
certain what? set of luggage. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see. Are you wanting me to just list off all the things you've gotten? I was sharing that, you know, luggage sounded better than it's than the actual delivery of it. One year my sister and I got to share from Santa one of those Barbie Jeeps. Oh, that's fun. That was a good present. Barbie Jeep? Pink? Yeah. A pink Jeep? Mm -hmm. How long did you have to plug it in for and how long could you ride it? I mean, it literally had to <laughs> plug in for like three days. It's so long. <laughs> and then you could ride it about uh, down the driveway uh, to the next driveway and about halfway back. <laughs> that, was, that was about how long the battery charge would last. I was telling Channing that my, my one regret in our relationship is that electric scooters came out after we started dating. So I never properly got to do a, a uh, scoot. A, what, did I, what did I call it? I called, I, I, I used to call it a, a, a scoot, a scooty booty or whatever. Booty scooty? Maybe a booty scooty. Boot scoot. Boot scoot. Like I never got to properly, you know, find my way home on an electric scooter from some random broad's house. So I was thinking maybe I could get you an Airbnb somewhere, meet up with you randomly, give ourselves like pseudonyms and then just scoot my way home afterwards. What do you think about that? Why, you don't want to pay for an Uber? No, it's about the experience, about the wind whipping through my hair. Walking around, you and me, Christmas time's got the best. Tasha, I want you to know something. You are engaged to a man who dropped an Oreo on the ground. Don't tell me he ate it. <laughs> and ate it. It, ro it rolled all the way over there. Gross. I picked it up, I blew on it, and I ate it. Look at you can see the soot on this. Chaney and I both agreed, as long as it was dry, it was fine. Nasty guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hit the like button, share with your friends, and leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And let me know if you have any uh, recommendations on a hard beverage recipe. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. That's right.